Hey guys, A Math here, and today I am here with a special guest commentator, Vault Wook One. Hey guys, what's up? Today we are doing the Crooked Man. It is a pixelated indie horror game. I don't really do horror games that much, but it, this seems like a really great game, and I want to show it to you guys. This scares me. <laughs> so let's get into it. Can I go to the background of the game or anything? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked man. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. Yeah, Andres. Yeah, he bought a crooked cat. What kind of thing do you use to record? Cantasia, which caught a crooked mouse. Uh, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Oh, finally, awesome. things are tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us can go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Andres? Yeah, look. Did you die? <laughs> no. I was giving you know, the... Just stop talking. I was giving the character... I had to pause for five seconds. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get to him if he's still around. So nah, you can just keep it. Got Paul's license. You don't have to read everything, James. Yeah, well, it creates drama. It's dramatic. Alright, but... Guys, if you know me, well, Luke... You got, you probably has barely heard me read anything, unless it's like really super important. Dot 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 question mark. You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit him some other time. You can't see me. I'll be right back. The talking <laughs> gets distant. Uh, the license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Go to bed, David. The phone. The phone. I'm gone. Phone. No, just jump. That's what I We'll be right there. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? This is a thought. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Sleep, David. Man, I'm tired. No, you're not. Stop being a lazy bum. <laughs> Come on, David. David, I thought you were... Oh, my God. David, you're uh, such a lady. Really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one I'm crooked. Kids? I should go complain. What? I look crooked. <laughs> yes, David, let's get outside. Hello? Knocking gets no response. Alright, if you ever quit, just cut me out. I'm sorry. <laughs> knocking, making a beat out of knocking. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Your face. If he's not dead, <laughs> give up. Woman's voice. Yes. Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just. I can hear you from my room. Even it's even it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy yeah, who moved into right now. You're the guy who moved in two o five, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Sure about that? Uh, I guess so. So sorry for waking you. Bye now. No, I'm not sorry. Fuck you. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. 
more importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Uh, um. Scared. There's water. Wait, what? Is that you? Bathtub? Sink, probably? Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Huh? Under the bed. Oh, shit. The fuck? <laughs> it says under the bed. <laughs> under I'm the scared. Bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. What time to go to bed? Under the bed, huh? Who's what's down there? Don't do it, David. Hmm? Found yeah. something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, oh. I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and riffing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Well. I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Sleep, sleep. <laughs> Just sleep, David. Good boy, David slept. The phone, oh my god. The phone is ringing. I'll be uh, right there. Oh uh, yeah. Phone. Thanks for all the... Oh, you want time? No. No, I didn't mean... Just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept Amazing. in... Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Wait, I'm scared. I'm just, are you talking about the game or you? I'm talking about the game. Oh, God. What do you think I was talking about? What's you on the phone? I'm not on the phone. Paul, what is it? Wait. Yeah, uh... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write oh. on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? So, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Every kind of child... Well, can you see his screen okay? Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh, my. Oh. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. That's creepy. The fuck? Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's, that's wonderful. Me. Get along with Win Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, no, yes. I don't. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. No, you shouldn't. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, would you? Ma, ma get out. I'll have you thrown Mom, out. Mom, are you crazy? So somebody, somebody. There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Oh Mrs. 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 Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. You leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave her today. Understood. Take good care of her. 
Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Oh, it is fine. Why are you leaving me? Que exclamation point, exclamation point. But Mom? <laughs> your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. please help me. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! I don't remember. David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave. The fuck? <laughs> Mrs. Hover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Wait, I'm, yeah, I'm so confused. Can you see the screen? Yeah, I can see the oh, screen. Yeah, yeah you, then you know what's going on. Uh, I'm oh. just... Oh, David. Okay. So did, you, did you see your mother? Still with no. Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I, I hope you can help her. I don't think so. <laughs> that woman's crazy. No, um, Athanation. Yes. I'm glad. Uh, I'm lagging. You're lagging? Oh, it sounds like it's lagging to you. Oh. Well, okay, let me record the video, like, when you tell me just cut off this part, but uh, I just sound like I'm lagging. That's nice. It's okay, bitch. <sighs> Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Gotta leave it for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Tell me why I was thinking I feared something happened. The phone. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Cheryl yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Uh, Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Um, well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. Um... That, that, that's a little freaky. Uh, why would you give somebody's... Oh, I don't know. I'm tired of reading. Oh. I should go to bed. Then I'll read on this. The TV turned on. That's a the TV channel. Oh, why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? My god, that's the crap. Good. <laughs> but what? This is creepy. How do you think? Did it say sink? What was that? Oh, look in the sink. Time to go in the sink, bitch. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked Wait cat, a which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in an old crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. Under the sink. This is so strange. I should sleep. I should sleep and forget about it. Yes, David, go to bed. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul Marion's help, but. <laughs> is that a kid I hear? What kid will live in these beat up apartments? I do. <laughs> Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. <sighs> little boy. Right, little boy. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Oh. Exclamation point. The cup fell. Just a broken cup. cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, wait, what? Help me. What the f- 
I swear to God. The coffee says, you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. Or there's voices and TVs turning on. What is this? I just heard a house. Are we? Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, um, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady. Sure, later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Dirty Japanese, I think I'm dirty Japanese, I really think so. Never, tr never trust the land. Never. Because they always do something. Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went? I, s I never heard that, never. Or he just up and left out of the blur. Or oh, you killed him. I, I just can't remember that name. I can run through my documents to find the previous tenants if you like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alright, I'm sorry I wasn't very useful. You weren't being useful for a purpose. Man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. That useless bitch. Alright. Don't, Don't say that with your Time to go back to my room. My footprints. You know what game is going on? What? Uh, this hotel game, like, this guy, um, he had his wife that he was supposed to bring to, like, this hotel every couple of years, but he ended up killing her wife, and then he had amnesia and thought, what happened to my wife? So he was looking all around to find his wife, and then he finds out that he's going to close it. Oh, wow. Footprints leading to the back of the TV. An old TV. But why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. Your bum hole? <laughs> Your bum hole. The guy's voice. Hey, the, kid, pretty fancy. the kids' voices. The mirror writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. But I wonder if I can scrap of paper. What? What's a poltergeist? So they possess objects and shit. What? Yeah. What was that man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Yes, David, go back to sleep. Again. Oh my god. No, no. Something bad will happen to David. I can sense it. What? What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Here in the closet. Ha! Huh, it came from in here. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Not even your closet. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. <laughs> or a special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got to be an address. Close? Well, it's time to get back into my room. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. What the f- <laughs> You see that too? What? I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? 
Why did... How? And when did it... What? Yeah, this game is broken. What? Okay, I'm gonna cry. I'll be alright. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh. I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the new Wets' love nest. Hey, why you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Huh, I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't want to get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time for you to move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. David, we are going to get along so fun. We are going to get along so, so good. David, we are going to be the best of friends. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran for me. Wow, David. We are kind of the same, but in different circumstances. You're my hero. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh, well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast is ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Well, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. Well, guys, we're going to have to end this episode here. I think this is going to be the start of a very great series. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to join the AMath Nation, and I will see you in the next episode. AMath, signing off. And Vault Luke. Okay, finally, they're going to talk.